Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be pretty much telling you guys how much it costs me to pretty much maintain this car. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. Please ask me if BMWs are reliable. A lot of people always ask me if these cars are affordable. Do they keep breaking down? They have, you know, they have turbos. This is an N55, so it's a single turbo, not a twin turbo. But still, it's got turbos. It's a BMW. It's got a big old battery. It's got a bunch of stuff to make it uh, uh, pretty much a BMW and a bunch of electronics. So today, I'm pretty much going to have a rundown on pretty much all the maintenance that I've done to the car and how much maintenance I see on the Carfax and the history and all that stuff. I don't really see too much, but I'll explain to you why I don't think that's a big deal. So to be honest with you guys, this car pretty much when I I got it it had a lot of cosmetic issues that's pretty much the only thing when I got the car it was a clean title 145,000 miles so I didn't get it to experience the whole 150k but obviously for a 2014 150k this was probably mostly on the highway so let me just go ahead and start off with the things that I pretty much paid to take care of this car made a little note list here it's not too much to be honest so the biggest thing that pretty much hit me right off the bat um, was pretty much the fuel injectors. The fuel injectors cost me about 200 out of pocket. That's just for the fuel injectors they were used. They had about 30,000 miles on them. This car had 145,000 miles on it. So the fuel injectors were getting pretty bad. So I pretty much purchased some used uh, OEM fuel injectors are about $200. 34,000 miles, something roughly on that. So pretty much brand new in my opinion. 34,000 miles on fuel injectors is almost nothing. I replaced the gaskets, the seals. So the fuel injectors used was about $200 and then pretty much the gaskets, you have a metal gasket and then, you have, and then you have a rubber gasket. All the gaskets for the fuel injectors, all six of them were about $200. So money wise, it was about $400 into it just for all the parts. Then I had to get somebody to coat it and I also needed the fuel extraction tool. So I had to pay someone to coat it and I also needed the fuel injector extraction tool, which is only about like 40 bucks. So I think in total god there's so much mosquitoes i'm about to mm -mm. heck no anyway back to the video while i was also doing the fuel injectors i figured i might as well do the spark plugs i didn't know when the spark plugs were replaced i went ahead and just did it i went with ngk spark plugs it was the top of the line the full kit and everything that was about 120 dollars next thing was an oil change it pretty much takes normal oil so it takes 5w30 for bmws and uh pretty much the filter and everything about 70 bucks and again guys these are the prices that i have for myself because i do the work myself i encourage everyone that has a car to work on it themselves especially if it's just simple things like an oil change oil change can just add up i mean i do mines every four to five thousand miles just to be safe so i'm pretty good on the oil changes but if you take it to the shop it's always like 200 dollars. that's a lot of money to keep adding up every you know three to four thousand miles that's a lot of money so i do it for 70 70 bucks every maybe month or two. It's not too shabby. When I did check the Carfax, the battery was replaced about 15,000 miles ago at 135,000 miles. I think that was roughly about $200. And then a bunch of things got done at 100K miles. So I had the oil change done, the spark plugs done, the cabin air filter, brake fluids, AC filter, all that stuff was done at 100K miles. It was pretty much like a full tune up. And obviously I wasn't there to experience all that. So when I added up all the prices for all that stuff, that's roughly about for my prices, about $400 to get all that stuff done. Obviously if you take it down to a shop, you're probably looking at a grand, somewhere around there. $400 just for the parts, I did it all myself. And all those things are very easy to do. And something odd about this one, the alternator was replaced at 26,000 miles. So honestly, that's about it. So that's all it, all it cost me was a fuel injector job, which was the biggest job I've done so far. And I pretty much set for another 50,000 miles at least with the spark plugs because they're NGKs. Unless I actually end up tuning and all that stuff, maybe 30,000 30, miles. And the fuel injectors are probably good for another like 50,000 to 70,000 miles. So in other words, I think I'm set for at least a year or two. The ownership cost for me so far was roughly about $600 again for the oil chain, spark plugs, and everything that was uh, pretty much fuel injector related. So I'm not a big fan of staying away from the camera. I like holding the camera. I like having you guys with me so basically the cost of me owning this thing is only about six hundred dollars it's really pretty much nothing that's pretty much the rough estimate obviously i've only had it for about i think it has 152,000 miles now so i've only had it for about seven thousand miles i think i purchased it honestly with like 143,000 miles and as 152,000 miles, so in, in a matter of two to three months, I've already put about 9,000 miles on it and it runs so reliably. I drove this six and a half hours to LA and only took me one tank of gas. Obviously that was me going alone. I didn't have anybody, you know, to race. It was pretty much just a, a smooth cruise there, cruising at 75. And it only took me one tank to get to LA, one tank to get back. So that was amazing. So the fuel economy is honestly really good on this car. And that was actually one of the reasons I switched from my E92 M3 to this 435. And at the same time, this 435 is so much cheaper cheaper to modify than an M3 and you can push out a lot more power than an M3. This is not an M3 and if you compare it to the M3 of this exact same generation, the M3 of this exact same generation is honestly a lot better but this isn't the price of an M3 so I'm not going to be comparing it to that. I'm just comparing it to the E92 M3 
This is already a lot faster with just a couple bolt-ons and it's getting tuned hopefully pretty soon. In terms of torque, this is a little bit more torquier than my M3. I had the manual M3. I felt like it wasn't as torquey as this, unfortunately. Could just be my M3? Who knows? Who knows? But I honestly didn't feel it. My M3, when it comes to handling, was a lot better than this car. That is for sure. But yeah, guys, honestly, this thing has been such a reliable car. Honestly, I have no nothing bad to say. If I was to take the for you know, if I was to take the car in for the oil change, if I was to take it in for the spark plugs, and if I was to take it in for the fuel injectors all that would have been done for a thousand dollars and you're set about for 30 to 50 thousand miles obviously other things can break down so that's why i strongly encourage you guys whoever the purchase of bmw please work on on yourself these type of cars are meant for people with a lot of money or it's meant for people that are willing to invest their time into fixing it and enjoying it like people like me and my friends we can't honestly afford these i'm a college student guys i'm a college student i still go there full time and i can afford to pretty much drive something like this only because i pretty much put the time and work into it so at 152,000 miles if you did the all the oil changes yourself you're looking at only about two thousand dollars for owning it for 152,000 miles so yeah i strongly encourage if you're going to be picking up a bmw do all the maintenance yourself and without further ado guys let me know if you guys have any questions about this 435 all the bolt-ons if you guys want to make if you guys want me to make a video on the mod breakdown engine mods and all that stuff or even the exterior let me know down below but i figured it's kind of important to tell people about the maintenance because it's, it's kind of the biggest deal when it comes to buying a car i'm about to actually jump into a story about you know when i got my first bmw and how i started working on bmws so for those of you guys who are uninterested I appreciate you guys for staying. Make sure to smash the like button if you found this video kind of informative. All right, I love you guys so much. And for those of you guys who want to hear the story of how I started working on BMWs, make sure you stay tuned. So what's up guys? Uh, so pretty much I want to tell you guys a little story about when I, how I actually got into BMWs. A lot of people don't know about this. So I want to tell you guys a little story on how I actually started getting into BMW. So I purchased my first BMW about four years ago when I first started university. I was going to school full time and I was also working full time. I think I actually have full time. I think I was going for about 30 hours uh, a week. Um, obviously I got college full time so I couldn't do both full time. Obviously some people can but I honestly couldn't manage because I was also doing a little bit of YouTube on the side. It wasn't too, nothing too serious. So I pretty much was driving a Corolla for the first like six months and I've always dreamt of owning a BMW and I just felt like if I had a BMW it would be easier for me to wake up in the morning and just be more productive. So pretty much what I ended up doing I went ahead and I went ahead and purchased a BMW. I financed it I think it was about 13,000 my payments were about 180 a month. I put about 3,000 down and yeah I pretty much picked up my first BMW. I was super happy. I was super content with life going to college going to school and my favorite part about doing all that was pretty much driving in my BMW and I really enjoyed it. It was a joy of a car. 330i I think it had about 50,000 miles on it. It was a beautiful car. Everything was all, you know, handy dandy until one day my water pump goes out. So I knew, I knew nothing about cars at the time and the water pump to get it replaced that BMW was about 18, I think it was like 18 to $2,000. So it was 1,800 to $2,000. I don't remember what it was, but I didn't know how to work on cars. I looked it up on YouTube. It isn't just a simple ratchet job. So I was like, damn, I can't really drive my car anymore. I, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to pay it. So I went ahead and paid it. Thankfully, I, I was saving up money, but that money was going for things other than that. It was, it was supposed to be actually for my tuition but I paid it instead for the car and I put myself in a kind of a bad financial pickle and the next thing that happened was my radiator went out on my 330i and just you know things started to just break down it was an older car it was a 2006 and things just kept on breaking down I was having a really rough time so I decided you know what I can't afford to keep taking this to the shop I was stuck in a finance I was stuck to keep I, I have no choice I have to keep the car so I decided you know what let me just try to fix it myself what's the worst that could happen let me attempt it worst comes to worst I just tow it to a shop so I went ahead I throw up a picture right here it's on my instagram i went ahead and pretty much gutted everything in the engine bay took all everything off and i organized it all on the ground next to me where i was working in the garage and i pretty much did my first ever radiator job did my first ever oil change job did my first ever spark plug job first ever ignition coil job i pretty much did everything on my own and i was really happy and i was really content and i was saving a lot of money to be honest guys i saved so much and that's how I was able to afford a BMW at pretty much a younger age is because I started working on it myself. I really encourage everybody. It's not that hard. The risk of working on things yourself is the risk of breaking things. But but just a little word of advice, I'm just saying. This is how I started looking at cars. The cost of replacing a water pump is $2,000. The parts to do a water pump job is $300. If I was to hypothetically mess up the repair and break a whole bunch of stuff that was worth about five or $600 worth of stuff, I would have replaced all those other stuff I just broke with new parts and or my water pump for a thousand dollars and I had the satisfaction of knowing I did it myself and it was done. At the cost of a dealership you have so many tries to mess up and you can still eventually 
do it right. If you break more things, just buy new parts. Parts are expensive, but you'll never ever reach the price of how much a dealership would charge you just for a simple repair. So that's pretty much how I put my mindset to it. So I went ahead and did everything myself. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into fixing cars. That's pretty much, uh, you know, this car is honestly probably my most reliable BMW I've ever owned. That's why I love it. I love the N55 chassis. And this is actually gonna be tuned and fully modified, hopefully in a couple more weeks. If you guys have found this video informative, make sure to smash that like button. And let me know if you guys wanna find out anything about me or my cars or anything on the channel. I love y'all so much for the people that continue to support the channel for those of you guys who don't know i'm also working on an m3 over there a new build on the channel so stay tuned so anyways guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.